All right, welcome back. Right in this video, we'll be looking at number system. It will be called the computer architecture supports three main number systems. So, four main, sorry, we have the binary. Binary, which is the base two. We have the octal system, which is base eight. We also have the decimal. This is our normal everyday life, which is base 10. Now we have the hexadecimal, which is base 16. Please note for binary, you just have two digits, just 0 and 1. For octal, you have two digits from 0 to 7. For decimal, 0 to 9. And for the decimal, is 1, 2. But note that from 10 to 15 are represented using A, B, C, D, and E. That for that. Now it's important for us to know that we can come. I don't have a value in this tool. We can convert it from this to any base of our choice. So in this video, we'll be looking at how to do conversion from base two to base sixteen. If that is the case, all right, let's just scroll down a bit. So let's look at how to convert from one unit to another. So from one base to another, conversion from one base to another. These conversions are in three main categories. Number one, from base 10 to other base, other bases. We also have other bases to base 10. Then we also have other bases. To other bases. All right, please note. Important for us to note that we are moving from base 10 to other bases, same format. For example, you are giving a value like 25 in base 10, convert it to base 2, base 8, and base 16. Convert from base 2, base 8, and base 16. It's important for us to note that. If you are converting to any base, you will go have to first of all note the destination base. So you will divide that decimal value with the destination base. If you say convert 25 to base 2, you will divide this 25 by 2 until you get 0. Then you write down your output from upside down. If you say convert 25 to base 8, you will divide this 25 with 8 until you get 0. Likewise, 16. All right, let us do an example and see how it works. So right as an example before us here is conversion of 25 in base 10 to base 2, base 8, and base 16. So right, let's go. It's conversion of base to base 2. So write 25 divided by 2. 25 by 2 will give us give us 12. Will give us 12. To give us 12 remainder 1. So we have 12 remainder 1. 2 into 12 will give us 6 remainder 0. 2 into 6 will give us 3 remainder 0. 2 into this will give us 1 remainder 1. And 2 into 1 is 0 remainder 1. So we're going to solve this until we get 0. Then we'll write out our output from 
bottom to up, not top to bottom. All right, so that gives us 25 in the stem will give us 11001 in this 2. Please don't forget to write your base. Don't forget to write your base. All right, let's go. The next example also is we are moving, converting to base 8. So we are converting to base 8, then thereafter convert to base 16. So conversion of 25 in base 10 to base 16, like I said, divide by destination base, 25 to base 8. That gives us 25. 25 divided by 8 will give us 8 times 3, 24 give us 3, remainder 1. Then 8 into this will give us 0, remainder 3. So we have 3, 1. So 25 in base 10 to base 8 will give you 31 in base 8. So that again, let's move it a bit further. Conversion of 25 to base 16. Don't so divide by 16. So dividing this by this will give us 1. Remainder. Remove 16 from this. It's going to give us 1 remainder. For 1 remainder. It's going to give us 1. Remainder 9. So the 16 by this will give us. Zero remainder one. So we have <clears throat> one nine in the sixteen. So that's for that. So that's how to convert that. So let us do another example quickly. Another example. Another example again of how that works. So let's see, let's convert <clears throat> 257 to base 2, base 8, and to base 16. Now, example 2. <clears throat> example 2, sorry. Example 2, say convert 25275, sorry. Convert 275 to base 2, 8, and 16. Like we said, convert by the destination base. Let's start with base 2. Or base 2 have 275 dividing by 2. 2 divided by 275 will give us 137 remainder 1. Then 2 come again, going to give us 68 remainder 1. Then 2 into 68 will give us 34 remainder 0. 2 into 34 will give us 17 remainder 0, 2 into 17 will give us 8 remainder 1, 2 into 8 will give us 4 remainder 0, 2 into 4 will give us 2 remainder 0, 2 here will give us 1 remainder 0, then 2 into this will give us 0 remainder 1. So writing down your output downward, so we're going to have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. 1, 1 in base 2. So don't forget to write your base. So that's what you have. So when you convert this value 275 in base 10 to base 2, you have 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So the next one is, let's do the next one. The next one we are moving to base 8 and base 16. So for, for base 8, 2, 7, 5, and 10 to base 8, divide by destination base, just the same formula. So to divide this by 8, we'll have 34 remainder 3. Divide by 8, we'll have 4. 8 to 34 is, is 4, 32. Remainder 2. Then 8 into 4, we'll have 0. Remainder 4. Right upside down, we have 4, 2, 3 in base 8. For the next one in base 16, that is 2, 7, 5 to base 16. So we're going to divide it by 16. We divide by 16, we'll have 17. 
remember 3. You divide by 16, we have 1. Remember 1. We have 16, we have 0. Remember 1. So we have 1, 1, 3 in the 16. So that's just how to convert from this then to any base, either base 2, base 8, or base 16. In our subsequent video, we we'll look at how to convert from other bases like 2, 8, 16 back to base 10. Alright, stay tuned.